Good morning to everyone. Today we will discuss the MSc Physics in semester first, the classical electrodynamics. And this is the unit first. Today we will be discuss the three important topics. Number one, the electrostatic potential energy. Second one is the energy density. And third one, the capstance. This is only the upgradation of the UG classes contents. So start from the definition of electrostatic potential energy. What means of electrostatic potential energy? The electrostatic potential energy of a system of a point charges is defined as the work required to assemble this system of charges by bringing them closer from entity to the system or the total work done by an external agent in bringing the system of charges from entity to the points. Or in simple language, we can say to assemble a system of the charges, the energy required or the work done by the system or any external agent that is called the electrostatic potential energy. This is the stored energy of the system. Now, how we can obtain the expression of it? If a point charges QI is brought from to the point XI in the region of the localized electrode described by the scalar potentials phi 8 reference we have considered phi potential is 0 at infinity then the work done on the charges hence the potential energy given for this charge is system is equal to the w i equal to the q i phi x i phi x i the potential at the x i or you can say work done on a unit test charge to move from to the infinity to the point that is the definition of the potential so, uh, we can write wi equal to the qi phi xi minus phi infinity because from one point to other points the potential difference is this one. And we have considered as the infinity as the reference point and where we have considered the potential equal to 0. So, the w equal to the qi phi xi where q x phi xi is potential produced by the remaining charges which is the function of the xi. Here the phi x i is the potential due to the all point charges except the one at the r j and it is equal to the phi x i equal to we have known very well that v equal to k q by r k is 1 by 4 pi f naught q is the sum of the all charges. So that is from j equal to 1 to n minus 1. Why we consider n minus 1 because one charges at the i th position. So that is we can write qj summation by the xy minus xj. Here q1, q2, q4, qni that is qj they are the charges except the qi. So the potential energy on the charge qi equal to wi qi 4 pi epsilon naught summation j equal to 1 to n minus 1 qj divided by x minus xj modulus of it. The total potential energy of the all the charges due to the all forces acting between them, then we can write the summation of the all potential energy of the different charges W equal to 1 by 4 pi f naught sigma i equal to 1 to n and also the j from 1 to n and we have considered i is not equal to j. Q i q j x i minus x j because we know very well that potential energy is q i and the work done is the q2 is W equal to q2 phi i r1 similarly the charge potential generated by the q2 at the charge q1 is equal to u equal to q1 phi 2 r1 so the total energy of the system is the sum of these two add and divided by 2 so for the n charges system we can write here the charges are the q1 q2 qn at the position at the x1 to the xj so the net charges and have the potential energy u equal to 1 by 2 sigma i equal to 1 to n q i phi r i. Here we have used 1 by 2 because the each term is counted twice. So u e equal to 1 by 2 4 pi epsilon naught sigma i sigma j i is not equal to j q i q j x i minus x j. So this is a, the potential energy of the system of the charges. Now, the, if the charge is not in discrete form, it is then continuous form and like the volume distribution. So, if there are the charges rho x i dash, 
and the they produce the charge of certain point at the rho xi then the w equal to 1 by 8 4 pi epsilon naught double integration for the volume rho x rho xi divided by x minus xi and finally we have write the w equal to 1 by 2 rho x phi xi dv the alternate expression for the electrostatic potential energy in the terms of the electric field the energy as the being the stored in the electric field surrounded by the charges so we can write by the Poisson equations the del square phi equal to minus rho by epsilon naught so the rho equal to that is the volume charge density equal to minus epsilon naught del square phi so the net energy of the system 1 by 2 rho phi x dv in place of the rho we have to substitute in form of the del square so, W equal to minus 1 by 2 epsilon naught integration of the phi del square phi dv. Here we have write del phi equal to minus in del of the del phi equal to minus del dot e. Now, to expression this one we can write in del phi we can write del square phi kg minus del phi del e. So, the epsilon naught by the phi del e dv. Now, there is the identity we have using that the del of the a vector dot b, b is the scalar quantity. So, the del a vector plus b and the a vector del, del, del dot b. And so, the b del dot a equal to the del a dot b minus a vector del phi, del can say b. So, using this identity we can write W equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught integration for the volume and this is the del of E vector phi dv minus E vector del phi and we know very well that 1 by 2 epsilon naught uh, phi E because by using the Gauss theorems we can write this is in form of the aerial uh, integrations 1 minus 1 by 2 epsilon naught e e minus ke mein dv for the all space and this is for the boundary of the space. So, if the boundary is at the infinity then we can write if pi is inversely proportional 1 by r e is directly proportional of the r inversely proportional of the r square and the d is directly proportional of r square. So, finally, we can write this is 10 to 0 for the boundary of the space and the for the all space we can write this is the final answer w equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught magnitude of the e square dv this is the integration all over the space and the energy density is energy stored per unit volume that is u bar equal to energy density 1 by 2 epsilon naught e square. So, what are the conclusions the energy is stored in the form of the field. The principle of the superposition is not valid for the electric field because it is then quadratic in nature. So, we can write the net electric field E equal to E vector equal to the E 1 plus E 2 vector say the E square equal to E square plus E 2 square plus twice E 1 vector E 2 vector. So, using this one we can obtain the energy density for the total system that is 1 by 2 epsilon naught e square dv 1 by 2 epsilon naught e 1 e 2 whole square and as using the summation 1 by 2 epsilon naught is 1 square plus 1 by 2 epsilon naught e 2 square plus 1 by 2 epsilon naught twice e 1 e 2 dv. Here the first two terms are the self energy of the first and second and the third terms is the interaction due to these two electric fields. So, it is called the interaction energy. Now, the last topic that is the capacitance. What means of the capacitance? how they are used for a system of the n conductor each with the potential v i and the total charge is q i where i equal to 1 to n in the otherwise empty space. The electrostatic potential energy can be expressed in terms of the potential alone and the certain geometrical physical quantity the coefficient of the capacity. A device which can be store energy is called the capacitor and the capacitor the capacity of the device to store the energy is called the capacitance it is equal to the ratio of the charge stored to the potential between them. So, C equal to Q by V that is Coulomb per volt that is farad. It is purely geometrically quantity determined by the size 
saps and the separation of the conductors so the potential on the ith conductor is the qi equal to the sigma 1 to n cig vj vj is the potential due to the different and the cij the interaction between these two so that is the capacitance of the capacitor so the capacitance of the capacitor the conductor is there for the total energy or the total charge on the conductor then it is the maintained at the unit potential all other conductors are kept at the zero potential so for the two conductor system as earlier we have calculated in the huge classes and the in 12th class the capacitance of the system of the two conductor carrying equal and opposite charges in the presence of other grounded conductors is the defined as the ratio of the charge on one conductor c equal to q by v so to determine the capacitance we can write dw equal to the v dq v q by c dq so w equal to 0 to w 0 to q q by c dq so in integration we obtain 1 by 2 k square by c and here if the q equal to the cv so w equal to 1 by cv square energy is stored in the capacitor of the parallel plate capacitor we know very well that c equal to f naught a by d substituting the value of the c and the v in terms of the ed so we obtain the energy density u bar equal to w by volume 1 by 2 epsilon naught a square the same expression as we have earlier calculated so this is sufficient for today thank you